Yes, so I work on the um uh, like a marketable liquor. Okay, so, a liquor. so you were arrested for selling alcohol to a minor misdemeanor. Yeah, uh, I was given a citation, so I went to the court, and then my lawyer told me that if I stay out for um, trouble for six months, the case will be dropped and dismissed, and that will be end in March next year. So my question is, I have my schedule for my citizenship interview this month. Can you tell me what was going to happen in my citizenship interview? Yeah, you're going to be denied interview? because you, you're going to be denied because you have a misdemeanor that is okay. either pending or you already completed. Um, it would show bad moral character to sell alcohol to a minor. Um, I think you would be denied. Sounds like, I don't know what the penal code is in Hawaii, uh, but if the maximum sentence that the judge could have sentenced you was one year or less, and it sounds like you didn't do any jail time, it sounds like a petty offense to me, so it's not deportable or inadmissible. Uh, I think you're fine there. Uh, I just don't know if you're mm -hmm. going to become a citizen. Oh, okay. So do you think, like, if, so you said automatically might, so you think can I, I, I apply think, again? I think you should have a consultation because nobody should be going to immigration with a conviction or a pending conviction. Not these days. Okay. Right, hold on one second, because okay. I don't know the penal code off the top of my head, but if you're asking me, not knowing Hawaiian penal code off the top of my head, what would happen? That's what I think what would happen. Hold on. Let's go to Sam in Newark. Sam. 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 Hey, hey Brad. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. What's going on? Uh, so my question is... Uh, <clears throat> So my wife is abusive, uh, so I want to still know, like, I, I could still file VAWA? Yes, VAWA still exists. She's abusive. Hold on. Let's have a consultation. Let's go to Nicole in Brooklyn. Nicole. Nicole. Yes, hello? Hi, Nicole. Hi. What's going on? What's your question? My question is... Um I've been living in the country for 26 years. Oh. I did file into churches that didn't work out. But um, I wonder if there's a way um, I can, like, obtain a green card. Is there a way, like, for the time? There's no such thing as I've been here for 26 years and I just want to walk in and get a green card. Um, mm -hmm. There is, God forbid, you're put in removal, cancellation of removal. And if you've been here for 10 years and can show extreme and unusual hardship, to children, spouse, or parent that you could perhaps get your removal canceled and get a green card that way. But if you lose your case, you get deported. So it's not something I would recommend. Uh, but just the fact that you were here for 26 years doesn't entitle you to anything, anything more or less than somebody who's here a year, other than perhaps some relief and deportation if you were put in it. What I would suggest is, your question basically is, I'm here 26 years, how do I get a green card? I'm out of status. And that would require a consultation. You're in Brooklyn. I'm in Manhattan. You're right across the water. Come have a consultation. Let's go to Amro in Orlando, Florida. Amro. Yes. Hello, Mr. Brad. And How are you? Hello, everyone over there. I'm doing real good. Thank you, sir. Um, I have a question. Actually, I came to the United States in 2000. Um, 15. Yes. And I came with a student visa. I came from Saudi Arabia. I'm Sudanese, but I'm born and raised in Saudi Arabia. Yes. And then when I came in here uh, in 2015, I applied for asylum. So after I applied for asylum, I stayed all this time. Nothing has happened. I got the uh, war permit and the social security, but I never did any type of interview. The problem was in 2017, I got into a misdemeanor. It was a solicitation for prostitution. I got a, a, a uh, um, um, a plea deal. A plea deal terminated after four months. All right, well, th um, that, that's not going to prevent you from getting granted asylum if you have a good claim. Uh, yes. Now, the problem is I have hired now. I want to renew the work permit. And recently, just last week or two weeks ago, I hired an attorney uh, in Florida. But to be honest, I don't feel that he's so confident. He, he called me recently, like two days ago, and he told me, uh, I am going to apply for the new the renewal of the work permit, but they're probably going to put you in the removal proceeding. And I, he, he doesn't seem that he really knows, and I didn't really know that. Right, well, well happen. You, 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 may, you may have, you may be in removal proceedings anyway if your asylum case is denied, uh, but they got to they got to process your asylum case first. So hold on one second, okay? Okay. But that, but a misdemeanor 
does not prevent uh -huh. you from getting asylum. An aggravated felony would, but a but, misdemeanor wouldn't. Awesome. Right. But the work permit, the work permit, it could be renewed before they, because I, don't, I didn't I don't, do the interview I don't yet. see any reason why they wouldn't, but hold on one second. Let's go to Julian in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Julian. Hello. How are you? Hi, Brad. What's I'm good. On? I... My, all right, so my husband, oh, Lord, I think I'm talking on the phone now. It's my turn. My husband um, um, petitioned for me, and I I spoke to you once, and you told me that um, one of the, one of the, um, oh, Lord, like, uh, Shall I, so I'm right, in stop, one second, one second, one second. Just take a deep breath. Shoot. Take a deep breath. Okay, Sorry, I'm, I'm, I, I know you're nervous. Calm down and let's no, tell not me nervous. what your problem is. I, I'm just tired. I'm, I am going through a lot. Tell me what your problem Sorry. is. All right, so my, my, my issue is, well, maybe not an issue, but I want to know how can I amend taxes with, without having the ITIN number? Well, you can, you can amend the taxes and apply for a TIN number simultaneously. You can do that. Simultaneously. But it, um, I called the IRS today and they say you cannot pop the, the taxes. The you IRS doesn't know what the hell they're talking about. You file a W-7 form with an amended tax return and you can file an amended tax return with a TIN number. Absolutely. You know, if are you are you amending your husband's tax returns to include you as married filing jointly? What do you what? Right. OK. Yeah, yeah so right. That's what you would do. But, OK, so we, yes, have but I, we have a tax attorney here who can help you. But that's you. You, have, you go to your tax preparer, you, you file an amended tax return, and you add a W-7 form for your tax identification number with that form. So, hold on, Brad. Let me tell you, why I'm so nervous because I went to the, I went to the office today, and they're telling me that I can't, we, can't, we can't backdate it for, the, for, the, for three years. I will have to just file the W-7 onwards, like for this coming tax Who, season. You went to which office? Um, the office in Plantation, Fort Lauderdale, right. in Florida. They're, they're and you, then I went to a tax preparer to ask him about the amending of taxes. And, Everybody's um, giving you bad advice. I just told right. you what to do. You can speak to Carmela. She will help you. Hold on. Sure. All right. Let's go to Ray in Omaha. Ray. Yes, Brad. How are you doing? How are you? Good, good. Uh, Brad, I applied for VAWA, and I got a prima facie. Yes. Uh, my spouse was a permanent resident. My yes. question is, um, if my date becomes current, can I submit the um, four eighty five? Yes. Even though, even though, She's even if my yeah, but yes. my VAWA isn't uh, yes. approved yet. Yes. The answer is yes. Perfect. All right. Thank you so very much, right. guys. Thank you. All right. Bye bye. Hi. Hi, how are you? Man. How you doing? I'm good. What I'm good. Yesterday I was nervous. I could apply a question the way it should be. I'm sorry? Yeah. So uh, when you ask me that, uh, do I stay with my wife? Yes, I stay with my wife since 2013 till when she accused me in 2019. Well, you have to remind me your question because I don't remember to tell you the truth. You called yesterday. Well, I was I was asking you that uh, I five VAWA, I have received receipt uh, receipt notice. Right. Yeah. Then you asked me a question. Have I stayed with my? When was the last time I stayed with my wife? I didn't. I was nervous. I couldn't hear what you are saying. Okay. I said no. But okay. actually, I stayed with my. We married to her thirteen. We have been living together. I understand. She, she, so you, you're, you, she, you've, she, been married, she, you've been married for five, six years together. She was abusive for those years, and you now filed the VAWA, but you have not gotten a receipt yet for it. Yes, but we stay together. We do everything. We have everything when she abused me. What, what, I was admitted. What, what, would you like me I was admit to, what would you like me to do to help you? Because, I'm going to, because I have a lawyer. I don't, the lawyer I keep telling me to wait. Then I want to consult you about Monday. Right. What are you going to do about that? Well, I think you should have a consultation with me if that's what you want to do. Bring all your paperwork in. I'm happy to review it, and I'll tell you what I think you should do. So hold on one second. But how are you going to get the paperwork? Because it's fun.
How are you going to get? Oh, we're going to go back to Gabrielle one second. Gabrielle, you're entitled to go to your lawyer and ask for a photocopy of your file. Okay. All right. And then you can email it to me and then I'll, we'll take it from there. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. So, so hold on one second. Yeah. But, all right. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. And, and that goes to everybody. Everyone, you know, your client, you pay a lawyer money and you ask for a copy of your file. The lawyer has you to give it to you. should be, yeah. All right. You can't just not, not give it to you. B in West Palm Beach. B. Hi, Brad. How are you? How are you? Good. I have a question. Um, I came here on a visiting visa and overstayed for two years. Then I got married to a U.S. citizen who petitioned for me in October of this year. Right. I have been self-employed and I'm in the process now of filing two-year back tax. But listening to your show, um, I think I made a Represent, misrepresentation because um, I put on my petition form that um, I haven't been working right, out so of status. You can, so, you can fix that at the time of the interview. Repeat that? Fix it at the time of the interview. You go into the interview and you say, I made a mistake on the form. I should have said yes, okay. not no. I'm fixing it. Okay. All right. Then you do that right up um, front. And it's perfectly fine. All right. Thank you. All right. You're doing a wonderful job. Thank you, B. All right. Let's go to Rodney in Brooklyn. Rodney. Hey, Brad. I have another question. Yes. Um, I came to do my citizen. I mean, I my swear in on the 17th. When can I apply for my uh, my passport? And also, I put in the I-130 for my wife. When can I finish up her paperwork? You can apply for your, to you can apply for your passport the day the minute you get your naturalization certificate, and the minute you get your naturalization certificate, you can make a photocopy of it, send it into immigration with the kit with the receipt for your wife's I one thirty and upgrade your wife's case. Okay, what are the papers I have to file for her? Uh, if you have not filed for her yet, I just put in the I one thirty. Oh, you put in the I one thirty, so then you upgrade that. You write a letter to the office where the I one thirty is with a photocopy of your naturalization and a photocopy of the receipt notice and say, please upgrade this case. Okay, and then I will have to file like the um, so like travel document and her work permit. What, what do I have to file for that one? She's here in the United States? Yes. Okay, so, go so then you would file an adjustment application, an I-485, a receipt notice for the I-130, the I-765, the I-131, the I-864. So you would do a whole adjustment package, but for the I-130, which you've already done, so you submit the I-130 receipt. Okay, all right, thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's go to Stephen in the Bronx. Stephen. Stephen. Stefan. Stefan. Stefan, what's Good up? Afternoon. What's going on? I have been watching your show and I've seen where you have a young lady that was abusive from Jamaica with her kids. I'm in the same position. I would like to know what I could do to get some paperwork here well, for myself. You, if, if you're in an abusive relationship, whether it's physical abuse, extreme emotional abuse, uh, you would file an I-360 application with proof of the abuse proof that you're a person of good moral character, proof you're in a bona fide marriage with your spouse or were in a bona fide marriage with your spouse, you no longer live with them, proof of the abuse, you do it with an adjustment application, which is an I-45, uh, I-864, and I-765, and I-131. You submit it all to immigration, and, and if uh, you did a decent job, they will, they will give you a receipt notice, they'll accept your case, You'll get your work permit and travel, and they will review your case over 18 months to see if you qualify. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Let's go to Tisha in Cincinnati. Tisha. Aisha, excuse Hello? me. Hello? Hi, Aisha. Hello, good evening, Brad. How are you today? Good, good. What's going on? Okay, so I had a question. Um, let's say I have an artist that I want to invite to the United States for my daughter's birthday party. Oh, very fancy. Yes. How, how can I invite this artist to come to the United States? Well, if the artist has some for, sort of a claim, uh, you wouldn't invite the artist because the artist can't just... If the artist is coming to perform, 
at your daughter's birthday party. The artist just can't come on a tourist visa and then perform because then they would be working illegally. So the only way artists come to the United States of America is either on an O visa, where you show they have extraordinary ability, and, for, and that's a little lower standard for singers and dancers and actors. It's You have to show recognition and acclaim. Uh, or if they're a member of a group, you would do it as a P1. Um, but you just can't just come and say, I'm going to send you a letter, go get a tourist visa to come perform because then they would be working illegally. So you would have to do it on as a work visa. So hold on one as second. A as a, visa? As a okay. work visa, Thank either you. an O or P. Okay. Let's go to John in Newark. John. Yeah, hi. How you doing? Good. How you doing? Good. <clears throat> Great show you're doing. Thank you. Really appreciate you. Um, I came into the United States in 2016. Yes. And um, I got married in 2018. Yes. But I didn't file in until about last month. Right. But prior to that time, I I was placed on removal proceeding in J January this year. Why? And. Uh, um, just like that, I overstayed my visa. For no reason? No crime, no, no... But you're married to a U.S. citizen? But you're married to a U.S. citizen? Yes. All right, so yes, then you, need, you, need, you need to get an I-130 filed immediately, and prove it's a bona fide marriage, and get out of deportation, and get your green card. Yeah, I just did that, like, uh, I did that last month, but okay. I, so I haven't question? gotten a... I haven't gotten a receipt yet you from have, the have USCIS. Have you been ordered, deported? When's your next case before the judge, your next hearing before the judge? There's no, there's no notice to appear yet before the judge. That's you, where we are now. How do you know you're in deportation? Then? Be, because we, I was in, I was, I was in court, and um, the, 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 the attorney told me that there's no notice to appear yet in court. Then you're not. In, if there's no notice to appear, you're not in deportation. You should be filing your adjustment. No, I have um, a removal proceeding um, no, a document that I usually go to. Okay, so. I, Maybe you've been already ordered deported and you're done, then you got to make a motion to reopen. You know what, John? I'm not sure what you're describing to me. I think you're in Newark. I'm in New York. You should come see me with what you're looking at. So hold on one second. Because if there's no notice to appear, you're not in deportation. Unless you're saying there is a notice to appear. I went through a deportation process. I've been ordered deported and now I'm married. I'm not sure what you're talking about. So hold on one second. Let's go to Sam in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Sam. Sam. Uh, hello. Hey, Sam. How are you? I'm good, sir. How are you? Good. What's going uh, on? Sorry to disturb you again. You know, like, uh, I, like, I like your show Thank after you. Game of Thrones. You know, more than that. I'm sorry? And, uh, I, mean, uh, I like your show most of the time. And I watch your show every time. I have a question. You know, What's the question? The Tell me your question. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the question is, the new public charge is affected. I mean, it's like, um, it's like uh, applicable on the overseas, like, for the consular Sam, processing. Sam, 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 uh, you just got to take a step to the right or something, because I don't hear every word you say. Uh, I'm saying that the new public charge is effective to the overseas, like, for the consular processing. The new um, public charge provisions are effective for consular processing, although they have not come out with the new, they have not approved the new form yet, uh, but it is effective. Uh, the old laws apply for the uh, adjustment applications here. I have not, by law, they're supposed to be applying the new laws uh, at the counselor offices. Uh, they have not been doing it yet, I believe, until the new form comes out. Once the new form comes out, they will be applying the new laws. And that's going to be okay, momentary. And the, and the second question is, mm -hmm. I have a second question. Uh, my daughter, she is receiving week. She is just receiving now. And some cash assistance, but I stopped my wife for and everything. You know, like, Your daughter receiving uh, government assistance, WIC is okay. That's not going to affect you. Okay. Right. And uh, and the last last question. Sorry right. to you, I called you. The last one is that um, I have a co-sponsor, and uh, he is making like uh, thirty-seven thousand, and he has total family members like six along with the co-sponsor. You, know. you have a co-sponsor with th making thirty-seven thousand with a family of six. That sounds yeah. like they don't make enough money to support you. Not with no, like, you know, total, total for me and for the co-sponsor. Six people seems like a lot for thirty-seven thousand. Oh, okay. So I need a different co-sponsor. Get a different one, yeah. Okay, got it. Thank you so much. Sir. You're welcome. Okay.
Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.